morning friends it's Nancy and I'm here to do um, an idea a couple of ideas and some of them will go into my book of my big book of ideas um, but I'm also making journal cards for this particular journal so this is uh, the the um, Sherlock Holmes journal that I've been working on it's a big baby 14 signatures there's over I think there's over 330 pages um, and it's ready to go. Um, I just need a couple of more journal cards. So back in November, um, and I will link below the, the two videos that I did, um, I made these kind of neutrally scrappy um, journal cards um, based on this is something that could be purchased, I want to say, maybe Timu or something. I don't know. can't remember now. Um, but it, they were pages, notebook pa note papers, and they were decorated. But, I mean, they were just images of collaged pieces and bits. So I have, uh, I printed the pictures and sort of made some notes for myself to recreate them. Uh, and here are some that I made back in November. So very neutrally looking. Um, I didn't use these in my book because I did. I didn't think flowers were appropriate for Sherlock Holmes. I will use these in a different journal. Um, but I have, I, I, maybe I've made 12 or 16 different examples, but I've got more. I've got more. So, um, let's get started on one. So the, f I've got a box full of neutrally scraps here, so I'm going to use those. So the first one I'm going to do, I have, this is a piece of a, a legal document. I'm going to just fold it in half. And that way I'll have two. And I might as well ink them up now. Yeah, they're very flat. They're a nice sort of um, modest size. And uh, they're not going to take up a lot of real estate or add a lot of bulk. And because they're neutral, you can add a splash of color to it and make it to match anything. So the first one I'm going to do involves a doily. Um, I guess I'll go like that. And, uh, I wish I had slightly smaller doilies. I probably could. Do you know what? I have some die cut ones. Okay, so these ones I cut from a school book page, I think. Okay, so I will ink that a bit. You know what, I'm not going to use these. They, they're they just not going to get the same sort of... I could probably cut this in half, but I'm just going to ink around the edge a little. Grab a little there we go. 
antique linen. There we go. So I am going to use a glue stick. I'm not going to glue on the back of the doily. I'm going to glue on the paper. there's going to be a few edges that require a little more attention. Side. Should I cut it or tear it? Uh, and you know what else I noticed? There's a couple little bits of the doily that didn't come out when this was cut, when it was made. You know, the confetti. <laughs> save that scrap. I can use that somewhere. And I need a piece of tape. So I have some faux tape in here. I have some real tape in here. real bit. I'll do the same thing with this one. Okay, got both of them to the same stage. Um, I'm adding flowers. Uh, I These ones won't be going in my Sherlock Holmes journal because they've got lace. <laughs> uh, so these are just little images that I fussy cut out of books. But I could use anything. I could use a butterfly, a bird, 
I do want to cut some of this white out here. So I'm using my X-Acto knife. If you're new to my channel you might not know that um, it's my preferred method to use uh, a piece of glass so this came from I don't know an 8 by 10 picture frame that I got at a garage sale or something I certainly wouldn't have paid big bucks for it and there that's better Tempted to take this one out too. Okay, a little bit of ink. glass and I'm sure that's glaring. Um, all right, there's those two done. I feel like there was another one I wanted to do that had doily. Yes. Okay. So I will try to remember where I put my stuff. And I'll just quickly ink these up. Uh, a little change. I decided because I'm using tea dyed paper that this this is going to show up, so I'm going to use that instead. So I have this piece of tea dyed paper. I think it was from a sketchbook, maybe. I'm just tearing it in fourths. And I, that'll be, you know, like the size of an index card. Six by four and a quarter. So sketchbook-ish sized. And maybe I'll tear this edge off too, just so that the edges match. I think inking is probably the worst thing to have to watch. <laughs> All right. Um, so happy Saturday. Uh, big plans today. So we're going to a couple's shower in uh, my hometown, my great nephew. is getting married, um, but in instead of, you know, a traditional bridal shower, it's going to be a couple's shower, and I'm looking forward to seeing, oh, well, my one nephew I haven't seen in over a year, at least, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm just putting some glue here. It's going to be hard to glue around the edge. of this doily. 
because the lines are so thin. I think I also have like a doily stamp. I could have used a doily stamp. Rubber stamp, right? And let's put it there. Okay. Um, this also requires a piece of tape. I mean, I could do anything I want to it, but... Now, I need a postage stamp. Let me let me grab some. I have a whole bag of stamps that I got recently. And I've been meaning to s split them up and share because I've got lots of stamps. More than I can ever use. Now, as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, hmm. big. It just looked too uh, too long and if I took the bottom off then it'd be too wide. So let me see if I can get this closer to the proportions that I am happy with that appeal to me. I am actually going to be taking a week of vacation, the first week of September, and it's going to be a staycation, and it's going to be solo. Doug's, Doug will be at work. So I'm looking forward to that, and hopefully I can get some serious crafting time and serious working on my channel and my Etsy shop, that sort of thing done. Find another great stamp in here. Can't figure out how to open the bag. <laughs> there we go. from Battle Creek, Michigan. Ooh, here's a good one. So this one says 1933. So that's got some age to it. I think I dropped some on the floor. finish the assembly here. Okay, so that's those two done. Now I have some small book pages. This one will be for uh, 
Sherlock Holmes. So these were pretty thin paper, so I just glued them to a thin piece of paper. And I'm always searching for rulers in this place. Oh yeah. So I'm just going to try my best. Some rounded corners here, so I'm just gonna pull off those corners. All right. Now I have these two envelopes. Um, all I want is the back of the envelope, though. So I'll start by gluing the flap down so it doesn't get dislocated, and. Use my knife to just remove the back. I could cut it or use a trimmer, but um, I like the dirty soft edges and I want to preserve that. Tear that in half. Now some of the back of the envelope is going to show, so I'm going to give that a little lick. I wanted to put the fussy cut down first. So I'll just place that there. And here's my fussy cut. So we know that Sherlock Holmes also played the violin. Well, maybe I'll do it on top.
All right. So there's one. Now I will do the same thing on this book page, um, but I'm going to use a bird. And here they are. Uh, I decided to take a, word, a couple of words out of a page from Sherlock Holmes. It says, but the mystery, it is solved. Who was the criminal then? I guess you'll have to read the book. So there's that one that's going into the journal. And this one, I decided to go sideways um, because of the length of the bird. And I think that's pretty effective too. I'll put those up. All right, next, I have some old newspaper. And these are the backs of some vintage greeting cards. They're all nice and yellow. And I thought I would use those. Maybe I'll leave that. I can just decorate the back a little. Okay. Someone asked me the other day, um, about this glue stick. It's called Power Glue Stick by Mungyo, M-U-N-G-Y-O. Not my favorite glue stick. I mean, it is huge, and I got it for very, very, very inexpensive. Uh, there was uh, Curry's Art Store. It's gone out of business here, and at the time, I didn't know that they were closing, but they had they were selling off this glue for 25 cents a piece, four for a dollar. And I thought, oh, well, give these a try. So I'm in the process of just using them up. Okay, let's do some more tearing. shoulda woulda waited till this was a little drier but I can make it work never fear
Now, what I need is just some plain paper. This is a, a drugstore um, prescription from the 1920s. Ooh, look how good and orangey that is. So this one will be going into, ugh, I'm sticky. Uh, this one will be going into my journal. I need a baby wipe, I'm so sorry. Straighten this one up a little bit. Um, so I have a fussy cut of this um, top hat. Give this a little bit of ink. Wasn't sticking down, so I tore it off. And this one, I have this little fussy cut of a lady. I inked up the edge, but it's really, really white. So I want to do a little antiquing. Just to give it a little age. It's from a modern book. I wouldn't say a new book. All right. Let me get some more supplies together for the next one. All right. A good old piece of ledger here from 1857. Just gonna fold that over. 
Isn't that amazing that it doesn't crack? <laughs> Blows me away. And I'll just see what it looks like in half. It's kind of big. What have we got? Three and three quarters by six. Take about half an inch off the bottom. Save that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Okay, where's the good old ruler gone? I will ink that and I feel like I had a different piece of ledger for this one. Let me assemble the backs. All right, so I have, I did find this other one. It's a brighter color. The ink is actually turned purple. It has pink stripes and I thought, ooh, that'll be good. Now I wanna use a dried flower. And I do have some that I dried myself, some that I purchased. I'm just having a look here because I think I'm going to use these ones. But just. Can you hear Doug cooking his egg up there? Put these back. Okay, these are flowers and leaves that I found in old books. So sometimes when you um, purchase old books, you'll find these pressed plants. So I'm going to use a lot of liquid glue. Makes you wonder how long these plants have been in some of the books. I'm doing a lot of liquid glue because I don't want anything to break off. And then 
I'm going to add some tape, but this time I'm going to use um, glassine instead of, yeah, because I don't want it too dark. Not sure why I couldn't get that lid off. <laughs> Something happened up there. Right, let's get this one going. I love being able to use these little treasures. Sometimes you'll find little notes or envelopes, bookmarks, newspaper clippings. I've found lots of things. I found money. Remember that one time I found, was it a $2 bill I found in a book? That was at, uh, at a Goodwill bookstore. Okay, I need a piece of glassine. He's just going to town up there. And I did warn him. I am happy with that. I think I'll make one more and use this piece up. But I'll do that off camera. Okay, so we're getting on to 45 minutes here. So I think we'll call it a video. We did five different kinds of pages here. And I'll do, I'll do more. Not 
not pages, but journal cards. That's what I meant to say. And then here's the extra one that I that I made off camera. Um, all right. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you will like and subscribe and save this video so that you can refer back to it sometime. Uh, and, you know, it might inspire you to make some extra little bits to go in your journal. Take care of yourself. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.